I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Look, is this leading anywhere? Because I mean, we've got a lot of other people waiting to talk about real things here. Nudity is real. Open your eyes. Pick up your pants. Come on. Come on, Laszlo. You can be a figurehead for the decent futurist. We have one members now for the first time since 1977. Nudity is back. A lot of people are into nudity and really understand the spiritual side. What? Of hanging out with loads of naked chicks? I mean, I see the fun in it, but I just think clothes have distinct advantages, like like not accidentally cooking yourself, or, or when you're working on a building. We're not swingers. It's not about sex. It's about being one with the world. All right, dude. Groovy. Hug a rainbow. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. while I go in and talk to Luigi. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Good. If the three be talking how to clean the bathroom, you left so much one hair on the stove with the bottom of the bed with no dinner. You know what? went to bed a hungry only 20, maybe 30 times. He learned. Now, he brings his mother lunch to bed every day so she can sleep in. Let me tell you, everyone who has their kids up. He even cooks for the whole family. These days, he's getting too big to be chimney, so now he's a paralegal raking him home. Seven and six thousand a year. And on weekends, he doesn't go to the mall, play soccer, speed, or do any of that kind of stuff. No, no, he works in the basement of a marketing company making photocopies all night. Hell, he go to sleep during the day. That's another eight grand right there. So now, I'm buying me a fast boat trip. What do you say to that? Well, it sounds kind of like exploitation to me. That's exploitation. Man, you are killing me. No, he's mine. He's my kid. How can I exploit him? So, here. Here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult! Let me call you up. 
go over here and talk to somebody about their life. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always do this when I'm getting my like, phone interrogated. I just wanted to say something about the internet. You know, the information super highway and the world oh, wide web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, this is incredible. I know a lot of people play it. I mean, like a load of crap. But it's so remarkable, I think. You have all the things you do. I can't I go to a shop, and the name's Laszlo. I know, Leslie. I'm a regular listener. This is a recipe for trouble. This is really going nowhere. Do you have anything interesting to say at all? Well, um, well, I want to be in the Declaration of Independence. That's phenomenal. That's probably one of the reasons there are so many single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <gasps> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Uh, is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio for a second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I could go on all day, but you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. Uh, what's your name? What do you call about? Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm Maria, you know, Maria, like Mamma Mia, only different, you know, but, you know, Ben, M-E-N. <laughs> no, it's a dirty word, only there's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, your broadcasts are all the same, aren't you? I mean, I heard about you. You're always at a... Whoa, 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 what are you talking about? I, I, I'm married. Have one of those convenience jobs to protect you, I bet? I know what you're all like. You know more about... berries and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and tried to hold age of fear at 24. Glad no gold is fine. But let me answer the question. Don son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw, uncooked, organic vegetables. Just look like you're a little weak, you know. It's about time you got to try what we can try. This desk is two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood. It has a mahogany veneer finish. There's three drawers and Knowing this station, it costs hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I have already visualized the desk into two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stands. Oh! Oh, oh Lalo! Lalo! Think I hurt my hand in my... I think he's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the death gets still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, let the mock reaper. Joey! Am I gonna get to play with you big ends again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Better recognize. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. 
Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, go around back of Amnon Nation opposite the subway. No feelings whatsoever. Exactly. A policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball, they'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their grain. Military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and gives you a good pension. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where the super information highway has gotten them. Nowhere is the dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys and some girls. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country. I tell you something about respect. These kids don't respect veterans. You fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australian-American War, I didn't get a hero book. I didn't get a pat on the back. My friends and neighbors say, thanks for fighting for our freedom, Jane. And after years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American War was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. If you read a history book lately, son, the Australian-American War was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I could come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. No thoughts, no roots. They even wire kangaroos with the cloak. Come hopping in a key, knock out ten guys. Well, thanks for the history lesson. All right, let's go over here. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah? Is that Laszlo? Yes, it is. Who's this? My name ain't important. It's real unimportant. Uh, no, not really. I mean, this is a radio show. People usually tell us their name. My name is real unimportant. If you want to keep being a wise guy, you'll find out just how unimportant. Like, unimportant, I just got shot in the head. Unimportant. Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. And I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if 
If you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I'm just a little unhappy. I'm a bit agitated. Real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and hope it. She treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa this and your pa that and you ain't a real man, Tony. And it's driving me freaking nuts. Well, Tony... Tony, how'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man, stand up for yourself, don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son, and I want her to show that she cares for me, show that she loves me, and you know, say I was a good kid, but it seems like nothing's ever good enough for her, you know what I mean? What do I do? Well, Tony, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bound. Help Pogo escape from the evil research laboratory where the mean old scientist genetically altered him. Uh-oh, the pharmaceutical scientist is going to get you, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a gold coin. Good thing Pogo has a banana cannon. Those nasty scientists deserve to die. Now get the shampoo manufacturers before they squirt it in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission, to storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. But if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the Dormatron. Unlike those other exercise machines that require you to be open. Hey, I'm bored. When you gonna drill me? In a moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever. Hey, honey, no more escort services for me. Don't be fat a day longer than you have to. Remember, being fat can even ruin a romantic cruise. Call Dormatron now at 1-800-SLEEP-OFF-LARD or visit www.sleepofflard.com and sleep your way to a thinner, happier you. I'm a marketing manager who lives in the suburbs and commutes to work on the highway. I live alone, so of course I needed a car that could seat 12 and is equipped to drive across Arctic Tundra. It just makes me... Chatterbox, we are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller, you are on the air. Hi, Lazlo. Is that your real name? Uh, of course it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a big radio name like E.D. or Bobo? I thought all those radio people had fake names. Do you have a question or you just want to sit here and talk all day about my name? No, that's it. Love the show, Lazlo. Or Mark, or John, or Bevy, whatever your name is. All right, next caller, you're on Chatterbox. What is on your mind? Turnips, fruit vegetables, you know, albino carrots as they're known back home. Okay, here's the deal. This isn't gardening with Maurice. That's on later. No, he got taken off the air. He lied. I know he did. I've been trying to make a hybrid of a peach and a Pekingese midget fight bitch for the last two years. 
and it is impossible. Impossible, I tell you. Okay, and speaking of impossible, Jane from Cedar Grove is on the line, and she wants to talk about how difficult it is being a parent today. Hello, Jane. Hi, Laszlo. I love the show. I'm a first-time caller. I wanted to say something about these video games. They are warping all the kids' minds. My son's dog, Hugo, got hit by a truck, and he said, Mommy, Mommy, where's the reset button? Kids these days, they think life is a game. Well, it's not a game, Laszlo. It is very, very serious. I let my kids play video games, and now he runs around the house looking for me. Oh, Mama, was great. Real pretty. And called Togo the Monkey? Yeah, I've heard of that one. The shop teacher called me today, and Sam made a homemade banana can in shop class and was lobbing them across the street at a fast food restaurant. And it's all because of video games. Laszlo, life does not have a reset button. Right, but this show does. Ah, I love that button. You know, it's never a dull moment on this show, especially if you're a future graphic. Chunky Lee Chong is pushing spank for some new gang from Columbia or Colorado or something. I'm not really sure. Who needs details? Anyway, he's got a noodle stand down in Chinatown. That rat has sold his last stir fry. I want you to take him out. If you need a piece, go around back of ammunition opposite the subway. Sort yourself with a nine. You know where it is, right? Well, remember, just watch your back in Chinatown. It's triad territory. payroll van. It leaves the edge of Chinatown every day. Bullets won't even dent the van's armor, so get a car and ram it off the road. Now hit it hard, and the punk-ass security guard should bail. Then take it to the warehouse at the docks, and my guys are gonna take over from there. Now it won't be doing its rounds all day, so don't hang around. Another lunatic. Hello, next caller. You are on Chatterbox. Yeah, you were talking about short guys and attitude. Well, you know, you'd have an attitude too if you couldn't reach the freaking cheap squirrels at the grocery store. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it seems like the whole world's against you. I mean, you know, we're not talking about you. What kind of egomaniac are you? You got your own show. How about letting other people talk for a change? What was Oh, I'm so old. I'm so important. Let me talk about my tall stuff. Let me come with this. Hey, what's the weather like down there? How's it going, short stuff? Can you get that? You're closer. Why so sad, Pee-wee? You pay my car! Today we're talking about anything, it seems. If you have something to say about anything, call now. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Yeah, I love the show. 
Love hearing people's opinions. That's what made this country great. Hey, 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 hey. Most of all, guns. I had a few people whining about guns kill people. Guns don't kill people. Death kills people. Ask the doctor. That old fact is about both. He's got cardiac arrest, organ failure, or major hemorrhage. Well, what is that a legal problem? I don't need enough cheap guns to save my own home. I ain't hurt nobody. In countries that don't have guns, we ain't in America. You know, that's a really good trip. Range coffee, bro. I'd like to say something about that. You mean the Lone Star State? Oh, Dax. Dax is really wrong. My father worked his whole life. He played the lottery. And now the state wants to be Dax on the lottery. Get some of that stuff. You buy your own lottery ticket. Oh, hey. Good boy. I think I'll watch the result. All right. Hello, you are on the channel. I'm going to go to the channel. I'm going to go to the channel. Oh really? How do you like it? I mean, is it hard to get used to the language? You, you speak English pretty good. Oh, thank you, man. Yes, yes, I, I do like it. Oh, when I was joining, I had a nanny. She was very good. Yeah, well, I mean, there's excellent child care here in America. Well, well I'm sure. But the thing is, man, when, when, when I was a naughty boy, I... I, I guy I was telling you about. I right, listen, this guy he ain't Italian and he's no mechanic, but he could get things fixed. This is Pop's Capo, Tony Cipriani. Yeah, I'm Tony Cipriani. Take him to Mama's restaurant at St. Mark's. All right. Now listen to me. I'm planning a job that needs a good driver, so drop by sometime later, okay? Okay, kid, drive me to the laundry in Chinatown first. I got a bit of business to take care of. Those washing women ain't been paying their protection money. And watch the car. Joey just fixed this junk here. So no fancy crap, okay? Many arts. The skill in making house, cooking, changing the diapers on the babies. And she must also be a whore. A vixen in the bedroom. Imaginative, exotic, constantly fresh. It is impossible. You change diapers and then you are a French maid? Fernando thinks not. Fernando knows not. Well, I mean, you know, it's an age-old problem. I mean, how do you keep the excitement in a marriage? Excitement? Exactly. Passion. Danger. Wait here. Keep the engine running. This ain't a social call. Give you a big, big kiss. Mommy, like I gave a woman. Problem. But I am not going to give you a big kiss. I'm not a kiss like I gave a woman or even I'm a donkey. Because, so because you do not know. Well, I mean, in this case, ignorance uh, kind of seems like bliss. I I wasn't really up for kissing on air. I mean, when I I am I not Am I not irresistible? Kill that kid! Hello, my friend. You say you not want to kiss me. I was talking how to say hypothetically to make me all personal. It's a bit different. If I say, imagine if your wife was ugly, you can nod your head. But if I say, hey, Lazlo, your wife, she looked like yesterday's dinner after I eat. You're not so happy. It's a bit different. Anyway, the marriage is impossible, now. If a man was born an angel, many triads think they can mess with me. The triads. But me, drop by later. Give me something to honor. Their own blood-stained clothes. 